Let's review how to add references to academic writer. Keep in mind that you need to access academic writer from the library's website, either through the A to Z database link or on one of our LibGuides. Once you get into academic writer, you will need to create an account if you have not already done so. I can tell that I am logged in because it says welcome Tabitha. From here, go to the reference tab and click add references. You have three options. Option one is to create, that is if you needed to create a reference from scratch and it gives you a template for all of these different reference types. The second two is import. This is helpful if you're pulling information directly from a database. The third is to search and I actually suggest you start here first by clicking on advanced search and then entering the DOI of an article. Please keep in mind that this is only searching APA Psych Info, so it is possible that you will put in a DOI and get zero results. First, I'll do it with this article from APA PsychNet. Copy the DOI, place it in the search box, click search. And that's my article right there. So I click the little box and select add to my references. Trying again with an article I found in Science Direct, I will do the same thing. Copying the DOI, pasting it into the search box, making sure that only the numbers are in there, and click search. For this article, no references were found. I will try a third one with this article that I found in CINAHL. Once again, highlighting the DOI, copy, then paste. That one was also not found. So I can either go to the create tab and create the references or from the database itself find export. Export citation to RIS. I can tell it's saved right down here. It has a file named a bunch of numbers .RIS. Then click on import. It'll ask me where I got the file from. There's no option here for science direct. It doesn't really matter which one you click on. And then I will find the file right there. And submit. It thinks about it for a second and then it'll update. It's very important when you use import to actually check. So here is my article. And right here I have a red exclamation point, which means that I need to verify the information that is in here. I can click edit and then go section by section in order to make this correct. So just from looking at it, I can tell right here it says I need the name of the journal and the author names are not correct because it should be first initial and not whole first name. So that is something that you do need to check when you're using import. I will fix that later. Going back to add references, let me do the same, but in CINAHL, which is an EBSCO database. So over here, I have the option to export. It asks me which one I want to do. And again, Academic Writer is not an option, so I'm going to select RIS format. Thinks about it for a second, and this one saved as delivery.RIS. This time, I'll select EBSCO host because that's the type of database I got it from pull up that RIS file and submit. Same thing, it thinks about it. I'm going to give it a look. And this one doesn't have a little red exclamation point, but it is still a very good idea to just double check and make sure that your references are correct. And that's pretty much it besides creating a reference, which you would really use as your last resort.